Hello my friends, Samrus here to play the demo of The Last Alchemist. This demo was available as part of Steam's Next Fest, which ran from June 10th through 26th, specifically 10 a.m. Pacific time. I think I will have released this video too late for you to, to see this by then, but if by chance it happens to still be going on, you can also try out this demo yourself. In terms of settings, um, there's things for audio, uh, audio broken down into master, music, ambient, and sound effects. Um, and then video, there's a couple different options here. Um, brightness, shadows, graphics, terrain quality, bloom, and ambient occlusion. I'm going to leave everything as it is right there and start a new game. If you get stuck and can't move, you can teleport yourself out of trouble by pressing escape. Okay, good to know. Oh boy, I don't know if my computer likes running this. There's already been some tearing. I don't know if that's the word, but I am moving with WASD. Um, space does not do anything. I do not jump. Mouse one, mouse two doesn't seem to do anything. Tab brings up our bag. Z or hitting that gives us a little book. Farming, foraging. Whole bunch of different bookmarks here, which we don't have any, which makes sense. We just started. Um, cool, and then escape is like if you get stuck. Okay. Oh, okay, so right mouse button, if you hold it, you can change your point of view. So let's investigate this. Movement. Hold right mouse button, move the mouse to look around, press WASD to move around, hold shift to run, press R to toggle auto run. Um, I wish they would just make an option in the settings to either toggle or hold to run, but we'll see how that is. Guides will help you understand the mechanics, controls, and objectives of the game. You can always press Z or click on the encyclopedia icon to open the guides category in encyclopedia and read this information again, okay? I used to work here once, learning alchemy with Master Sendu... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I couldn't read fast enough. Okay, well, we used to apparently work here, but I don't know what else happened. So we'll follow the corridor, like old days. Oh, that looks like my old magnifier. This brings so many memories. Okay, I will say, uh, I'm usually a fast reader, but the text is going by very quickly. So if there were a way to... Okay, that's me sprinting. Um, if there are a way to slow the text down or to have me acknowledge it before I make it disappear, that would be great. Let's investigate that. How to pick up items. Click left mouse button on items to pick up and move them. Click left mouse button again to drop them. Pick and equip a tool on your toolbar, then press the corresponding key 1, 2, 3, 4 to withdraw the tool. Click or hold left mouse button to use the tool, press the corresponding key again to holster the tool. Okay, so... Uh, how do I put this like in my hand. Oh, one. Okay. Using a magnifier. Draw the magnifier and look for highlighted resources. Highlight means you can learn more about them. Then hold left mouse button over the highlighted resource and wait until item authentication is complete. Okay. So we've got the eye. Can I examine it from here? <laughs> Ghost room. Those are still- yeah, the text is way too fast. I cannot read that fast. So, cool. Um, yeah, they're still growing, apparently. Can I pick up the ghost room? Um, I wonder if I can use controller with this. Hopefully I can. not Yeah, I just feel like this is kind of awkward. Okay, we're just gonna pilfer things here using the sickle. Draw the sickle using one, two, three, or four. Then press left mouse button to cut down nearby small plants and mushrooms. Okay, so we needed the sickle. Oh, sorry. Two. And then... Does the mushroom not count? I can't use it on the mushroom. Okay, well, unlucky. I cannot harvest it. We'll harvest this mushroom though. Oh wait, let's magnify it first so we know what it is. Oh, this is a ghost room. It's a big one. Uh, okay. So we'll harvest that. Holster that. Cool. This is where I did research together before I left. Alchemy filled me then. It didn't have answers to my questions. But I must try one last time. I should open my encyclopedia to decide what to do next. 
Okay, um, the encyclopedia allows you to keep track of all your discoveries. Some objectives contain links to specific encyclopedia entries. Click left mouse, 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 da, da, da. Click left mouse button on the link to quickly jump to the right entry and view relevant information. Press C or click on the encyclopedia icon to bring it up. Uh, oh, ghost shrooms. Uh, I discovered this mushroom at Syndipodius's lab. <laughs> its origin is unknown to me, and I suspect that my master was conducting experiments with it in secret. He evidently cultivated and studied them, but for what? I'm not sure why, but I have a feeling that it's connected to the cure we've been trying to discover for so long. I've never seen the species in the Alps. Frankly, I have never seen it at all. Syndivogius must have had, must have had imported them from outside the valley. Harvest method, sickle. Harvest yield goes from cap. Her blade of the sickle is specially designed to be used for reaping. I can use it to harvest some resources such as small plants or mushrooms. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need to pin that. Uh, we can look at the ghost, ghost room hat cap. <laughs> Location near the merchant stall. The delicate, translucent cap of the ghost room seems to radiate an otherworldly spectral glow. I have never seen anything like that. My teacher must have discovered it after we parted ways. I am certain he was trying to produce the cure out of them. Why else would he grow them in his lab? I must continue his research and get to the bottom of this. Alchemical extraction is a grinder to lavernium. Improved grinder can extract the very essence. Oh my god, so fast. Okay, placing blueprints. In the constructions tab in your encyclopedia, you will find in machines and other structures you can construct. Click on the blueprint in the schematic section of the construction entry to start building it. Move the cursor to choose a placement for your construction and click left mouse button to click it, to place it. You can rotate your construction by using C and V keys. Uh, I think I have a construction. Yeah, is it in my bag for some reason? Nope, I have a mushroom. I guess I can investigate that. I like wasn't done reading though. There's like still other stuff. Woodshroom stock. Location is in the meadows. The woodshroom stock, which comes from the harvested mushroom, is a valuable resource for alchemists and craftsmen alike. It possesses a remarkable strength and flexibility, making it ideal for creating durable and versatile parts for various purposes. When processing in the grinder, woodshroom stock releases large amounts of essence that can then be used in various alchemical recipes. Uh, oh, that's an interesting shape. Is this an element? Okay, in essence. Okay, so... Oh, we didn't look at the magnifier. My trusty magnifier! I can use it to identify different objects and gain new information about them. Alchemy... Oh my god, so much stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. I'm gonna use my magnifier to see if I can get any information about these. Oh, these are witch rooms. Okay, so I guess I can harvest these then. I'm just gonna freely harvest all of these. Nobody has given me permission to, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, and then one more right there. Okay, cool. Let's investigate. At least Master remembered to have a steady supply of mushrooms. It's one of the most basic resources I should harvest them. Wood shrooms. Oi, oi, oi. I think I missed a page already. Um, press tab or click on an inventory icon to toggle it. Use left mouse button to move items in and out of your inventory or re rearrange them if you like. You need to undraw tools to pick up items from the ground. From the ground. Uh, for convenience, nearby items will be gathered automatically if there is enough space in the inventory. Okay. All right, let me put that away. Keep spinning. So it doesn't look like I can pass yet. Uh, can I magnify from far away? No? Okay. Mm, place the grinder blueprint on the floor. So apparently I have a grinder blueprint, but I don't know where that is. I'm just gonna click these to get rid of them. Chartreuse. Jade. Crimson. Resources? Nope, oh, these are wood shrooms. Uh, the wood shroom seems humble, but its usefulness should not be overlooked. Common and found in abundance in the meadows, it's known for its sturdy, lignified stalks that are much easier to obtain than actual hardwood but can replace wood in many recipes. I learned a lot about parts and crafting thanks to it. Uh, grinder blueprint on the floor. Can I just like take this? 
Click and drag to... Oh, okay, so I can just... What? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just... <laughs> let's put it right here. Cool. Investigate. Okay, constructions. Providing parts. Press the tab key or click on the inventory icon to toggle your inventory. To initiate construction, drag the necessary parts from your inventory to the right slots on the blueprint. If all slots are filled, approach the blueprint and press E to start the construction. It will take some time to finish, but if there's plenty of activities to occupy yourself in the meantime. Okay, so we need four uh, wood, wood shroom stalks. So we'll just place them there. Oh, okay, so it's a toggle click. It's not like a click and drag. It's like a click and then move your mouse. Start construction. All right, that didn't take very long. It's time to test this grinder can actually extract an essence out of this mushroom. Let's investigate it. Oh, nope, it won't let me. Okay, to use the machine, open your inventory by pressing tab and drag the necessary item into an input slot. Approach the machine and hold E to charge and activate it. After a while, the end product will appear in the output slot of the machine. From there, you can drag it straight into your inventory. I am noticing quite a few comma splices. All right, we'll put that in there. This will take time. Is there anywhere I could rest here? I'm growing weary. Passing time. Certain constructions, such as the meditation mat, allow you to pass time and regain energy. Approach the mat and press E to use it. All right, here it is. Basically a comfortable cushion on which to sit, relax, and make time pass faster. Can I investigate it? Nope. <laughs> All right. Sitting down. Oh, I didn't see my energy over there. When does that go down? Uh, let me grab that. Oh, into, into my pocket. Tab. Alright, we have two of these. Lavernium. Laverninium. <laughs> okay. Place the essence inside the fusion machine and charge it. Okay, so now that we have access to this... We will fuse. Combining pink and chartreuse. What color are we gonna get? Brown? <laughs> Orange? Ooh, that does not seem safe. I am knocked out. Uh, okay, that's a cool bed. Interaction out of range. Comfortable bed. Go to sleep. <laughs> I keep like trying to pull my magnifying glass out. Okay, I can't look at it. <laughs> it's a cute area. Oh boy. Okay, so my computer definitely can't keep up with whatever settings uh, are for the video, so I'm gonna try and... I don't know, I'll change it to medium and see if that helps. Um, yeah, it's like definitely complaining. Anoki, human, you're awake! Mm. Am I? <laughs> Looking at you, I'm having my doubts. Are you a real Agari? I always thought you're just a myth. I am very, very real, human. I heard an explosion, I ran and found you. How'd you even get here? It's our home. Uh, an Agari saved me. Wait, this is your home? Here, in the observatory? There's more of you? Yes, it's a great place for a village, safe and hidden. We moved in as soon as that previous human passed away and had a great time until you came. How'd you know about this place anyway? Uh, I used to work here with that previous human. Uh, it's my old home. Oh, so you don't want to eat us? That's, uh, good news. I'll tell the others. Join us as soon as you can. Oh, teleportation. All right, we gotta go outside to meet the Agari. This place does look like it's seen better days. Are we just like not concerned that there was like an explosion and we passed out? <laughs> Insight point. Hmm, those racks have pretty simple construction that seem useful. I think I didn't, I think I know how to make some just like this. Okay, small essence storage. Hardwood. Uh, Z. 
Oh my god, there's so much stuff to look at. Um, fungal silk. There's yarn. Yeah, I'm like very stressed about the amount of information that is getting revealed to me right now. I'm like not even reading anything. I'm just like clicking to make the uh, alert go away. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's blood, sang sanguine, meditation mat. Okay, we have a whole bunch of recipes. So many recipes. Planks. Let's look at them. Oh, they won't let us? Okay. Time to loot. Planks. Alright. A place to put away items or ingredients that may be needed later in your alchemic journey. Alright. There's no later for me. There's only the now. <laughs> Alright, we've got some yarn. And we'll head out this way. Is there more stuff here? Small essence storage. Okay, that's for essence. I do think it's cool that he has a uh, prosthetic leg. Oop, there's something here. Unknown resource. Identify with magnifier. Verdant veinstone. Acidic. Veined rock. Okay, so we need some acid to break that open. Yeah, I think it's whenever it's like loading a new area, my uh, computer complains and that's when it starts to tear a little bit. Alright, we'll go outside. very strong. Yeah, my computer, the fan, I don't know if you can hear my computer fan, but it's like very angry right now. <laughs> Hello, little Anoki. Mm -hmm. Listen, I just talked to him. I don't think he's here for us. He claims this is his old home. And he didn't freak out when he saw me. He's tired of us. He doesn't seem prejudiced. For sure he is here for us. No doubt about that. Why else would a lonely human come up all the way to- Ooh, That's him! Everybody hide! Run for your lives! Hmm. What? No, please don't run. I mean you no harm. Your friend is telling the truth. I'm not here for you. I didn't even know any shroom folk lived here. Shroom folk? How dare you! You destroy our village, you ruin my business, and then you offend us like that? This is not a friend, Anoki. This is a monster and a liar. Why would you return here, human, if not to hunt us? Um, I used to live in this castle. I practiced alchemy with my master. I was hoping I could ask him for help one more time, but it sounds like he's gone. I wanted to experiment with his equipment without him. Thought it would be familiar enough, but I overestimated myself. I couldn't do it. Instead, I just blew the whole thing up. I'm so sorry. I believe you. I believe you're not a bad human. So, Lari, you're the human expert here. Does this one look dangerous? Does he have eyes of a killer? I guess he doesn't. Truth be told, he does look a bit pale. Maybe a rare could, uh... No, wait, what am I even saying? Sick or not, you still trespassed. Did he trespass if it's his old home, though? Maybe it's us who trespassed. Silence! I won't stay here for another minute. I'm back to my stall as far away from this intruder as possible. Oh, whoa, they disappeared quickly. Alright. Hi. Unknown resource. Wanna hear a joke? Why do Agari argue? Because my psyllium... No, it's my psyllium. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, very funny. Alright, so there's a resource. It's a bush for slim branch. Okay, so magnifying glass uses energy. I like didn't notice that before. Um, well, I don't know. Let's sickle a little bit of it. Let's destroy their home. <laughs> Okay, what is that? This looks like a little something something, does it not? Okay, well it's not letting me highlight it, so potentially it's not. Um, hello there. Bush. Unknown resource. Tree! Harvest method. Felling. For hardwood. Alright, we'll put that away. 
go away. I, I, I'm poisonous. That's right, vicious, delicious, and you should leave me alone immediately. Oh, I'm, I'm not delicious at all. It was a joke. Please don't eat me. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, my computer still does not like even when it's on medium. I wanted to talk with uh, the purple guy. Can I talk with the purple friend? I just fell over. Um, I mean, I can put this to low and see if that helps. The graphics quality. Oh boy, clicking low has made my computer very angry. Okay, well, oh yeah, it's 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 still mad. I don't know if it's any better, frankly. Oh yeah, I feel like it's staggering even more. <laughs> oh boy, was medium better? I think it was. I don't know what it is. I do not have problems running any sort of other games that I want to play, so there's something weird here happening. Hapalo! So you're the one who caused all this drama, aren't you? I heard what you told the rest. You really used to work here? Yes, years ago with my friend and teacher. We studied different raw materials, built constructions. Constructions? You can build constructions? With mechanisms that work? Yes, I even made my own prosthetic leg. But it was a long time ago, when I was in my prime. I doubt I'd be able to craft a complicated instrument today. A big machine? Maybe. But something small like a tool? Not anymore. A, t a big machine's easy, but like a tool? Ugh, can't do that. You know, human, I know a thing or two about mechanisms as well. It's my passion. I, I think I am an inventor. This is what I was made for. And this is the first time I'm meeting another experimenter. I'm good with delicate mechanisms, and I love designing unusual tools. Unique devices, crazy inventions. If you need one, I can craft it for you. I've always wanted to work on commission. But I need my forge first. What happened to it? Uh, I blew it up. <laughs> my experiments sometimes go wild, too. <laughs> A like-minded soul. I like that. What do you need to fix your forge? I might be able to help. I can do the fancy footwork. You can save my time and bring me raw materials. Wood shroom stalks for fuel and vine withes for ropes to fix the pulley. Wood shrooms grow pretty much all around the meadows, and the vines grow further in the mountains straight ahead, just a little further past uh, behind the waterfall spring. Huge, purple, and menacing. Hard to miss. Alright, we've got a, a quest here. Okay. Can I examine anything here? Doesn't look like it. Um, was there anyone else that I needed to speak to? Oh, yeah, okay, nothing in there. Roof popped in and out. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know if low quality is any better. I feel like medium quality was maybe better than this. It's like loading everything. Oh boy. Yep. Like, I... <laughs> I shouldn't have anything else running. <laughs> I even like closed Discord and stuff. Uh, is there anything in these? I guess it's for me to pot or plant things. The tree. By felling. Can I fell with the sickle? I don't know. Insight point. Uh, was sent me for water here when I was his assistant. I always like this garden. Being here calms me down. Can I go in the water? Yeah, I can. I don't drown immediately. Okay. Uh, little, little characters that they've drawn out there. Okay, what is this? An odd device. The symbols hint some kind of barter or trade. The slot is sealed, but the mechanism works, so maybe I could reopen it? Insight represents the value of understanding the world around you. You obtain it every time you make a discovery or complete an objective, as well as trading with Agaris. Just like the alchemist, the Agaris value knowledge above all, and will pay you with insight for all items you put into the Agari chute. You can spend your insight on building constructions or researching essences in your microscope. The more you learn about the world, the more you can alter it. Okay, so I can put stuff in there. So like if I put one yarn in, that gives me insight. One branch. Okay, so it's just like infinite money. 
essentially, or experience. Is that what that is? Oh, time is passing as we speak. Let's say point. Paolo mentioned woodrooms and vines. I might need to search for them a bit, but should be able to find the way back with my map. Che oh, these are not capitalized. To get more detailed information about your objectives, you can open your encyclopedia on the quest tab. In there, you can view your quest history as well as details about objectives, such as which location to look for on the map. <laughs> Missing punctuation here. Okay. Well, so there's meadows that I need to gather. Let's look at this. Someone painted symbols over the signpost. Maybe it was Agarius? I don't know why, but those pictograms seem fungal for me. So, are these? Where are these? Oh, these are these are woodshrooms. So, let me chop that. Let me chop that. Good thing mushroom is, wood shroom is so abundant here. I'll need to reconstruct the grinder. Can't do much alchemy without essence. Wood shroom. I don't want the bush. Um, we'll put that away. And then they said it was big purple vines, right? Let's look at this. Leather cap mushroom. Okay, we get a leather cap out of that. All right, let's uh, let's harvest that after. I'm gonna harvest these great purple things first. Tangled vine. That's what we're looking for. I don't know how many we need. Um, I also don't know if I can get up there. I feel like I don't actually need to run. He already goes at a pretty qu quick clip. Oh my, I'm exhausted. Even though this wasn't much of an effort, I wonder how long before my illness takes all the strength I have left. Well, you still have 61 left. Soil is so dry and rocky that barely anything grows here. Those purple vines seem to be thriving in this dead zone, though. Okay. Well, I don't want to overdo it. I'll do one more, and then I'll leave. Okay. So, we'll put this away. And then... Hold shift to sprint. Does insight cost energy? I don't think so. Oh my, I constructed this bench myself many years ago when I worked as his assistant. I can't believe it's still here. This was my favorite spot to sit and think. I like being near water. Okay, so... I don't actually know how to get home. <laughs> I get lost very easily when I'm outside in the real world. Uh, okay, hello. Took you long enough. For a moment I started thinking you wouldn't return. Wait, are you alright? Are humans supposed to be this pale? They're not, right? Hmm. No, it's my sickness. It's getting worse. I need to rest for a while. But I brought raw materials for you though. Wood shroom stalks and vine withes. Vine withes? Withs? As requested. You should definitely see Ray. No one knows as much about healing as Ray does. They're cautious and might not want to talk to you at first, but they're soft-hearted. They'll warm up to you in no time. When you meet them, tell them I recommended you to visit them. But do not make fun of Inelmo Inel under any circumstances. If you do, they'll never help you. Maybe that's the purple friend. Mm. Alright, I'll visit them, but I want to deal with that forge of yours first. Wait, I think that we should do a proper introduction to seal this cooperation. I'm Papalo, and what should I call you? Mm. Alchemist. You can call me Alchemist. Alright, I am Alchemist. Uh, let me put the materials in. So we need two of the tangled vines. Withes. Withs. Uh, stock. And another stock. Start construction. Now that's done, I should search for this ray that Hapala mentioned. Oh, I thought it was a little mushroom friend talking, but it wasn't. Uh, so I think they're right over here. Please don't come any closer. And I'm a little scared. Oh, right. Sorry, um, little one. I guess I might come off as pretty scary to a uh, baby like you. What do you want? Um, I wanted to ask you for help. Do you know anything about illnesses? Human illnesses? Apollo said you might. Illnesses? Are you sick? That's not good. Mm, I know a thing or two about healing agaris, but nothing about humans. What treatments have you tried? Uh, everything. Even alchemy. Many times. Uh, I caused the explosion because I wanted to experiment with my old lab equipment. I've hoped I'd finally find a cure if I return with more experience. 
Hmm, there is a strange human device in the observatory, up the stairs. Maybe it holds the answers that will help? It looks like it's old, but someone definitely tinkered with it recently. Upgraded it, and it wasn't Apollo. The staircase is impassable though, but if you manage to blow up a room with this alchemy of yours, I'm sure you'll find, up a, find a way to get rid of the boulder blocking the stairs. Deeper analysis. Investigate the blocked staircase. This way, this way. I'm like wondering if I should go and uh, rest as well. Or if it's just story based. <laughs> Investigate. I identify this rock as burdened vinestone. Bainstone. I know it can be destroyed with an acidic property. How do I get to it? Go back. Or should we be done by now? Better go and check on it. Sprint. Um, we'll talk with Ray first. You saw the boulder? Yes, and I think I know how to get rid of it, but I will need to get back to alchemy and reconstruct all my machines. A grinder or two and a fusion machine are a must, but I'll also need a tool that will help me transfer the essence on the rock from a distance. We have a tool for spreading spores, actually. It's called Sprayer, and it sprays things. <laughs> I have one, but I can't give it to you. I need it. Apollo might craft another one for you, though. It's their design. A sprayer for spreading spores? Quite ingenious, and it might be just what I need. I'll order one from Apollo. Good idea. If you need any parts for your devices, I think there are some in the storage room. It's across the corridor from the bedroom. Okay. Oh. Essences. Essences are the substances that can be found in almost everything in the world. Their alchemical structure resembles blocks of tiles connected to each other and arranged into shapes. All raw materials contain essences which can be extracted out of them with the use of a grinder. More complex essences can't be found in the wild and need to be crafted. An element is the smallest alchemical particle you can encounter. Each element belongs to one of eight families. Elements connect to each other via connectors to create more complex essences. Some essences have special properties. A property is a unique trait an essence has that determines its effect on the surrounding world. Some properties can help you get rid of blockers, while others are used for crafting or harvesting specific resources. You can craft essences with properties by combining generic essences in a fusion machine. In order to have a property, an essence needs to contain a specified number of tiles from specified families, colors. Some properties may require providing the exact number of tiles, while others need the amount to be within a given range. More complicated properties also require the right shape, in addition to containing the correct number of tiles from a specified family. You can find the requirements for each property in the corresponding encyclopedia entry. Okay. Oh my god. Your encyclopedia contains entries, entries is written twice, about all essences you discover, along with information of their composition and illustrations of their structure. More complex alchemical processes may require keeping track of many essences, raw materials, or parts. On the bottom of the encyclopedia, you can find a space to pin up to six entries. That will help you see their shapes right away, as well as navigate quickly to the pages you need to have at hand. To pin an entry, simply click the tack icon in the upper right upper corner. I did that by accident. All right, let's talk. Hello. Now that's what I call a forge. Oh, I can't wait to try it out. I feel a sudden burst of creativity. First I'll prepare designs, then I'll... Oh, sorry. I started rambling about my highly specific interests again. No, no, no. Keep going. Explain to me what it is that you do here. You really want to listen? Thank you. So, it works this way. First, I need a blueprint. I can design it myself, or you can bring me one. When you have that, you need to bring me parts, and then I make the tool for you. Alright, I will go back to you as soon as I have a job for you. Have fun with your forge, Apollo. Try not to blow it up too soon. <laughs> Look who's talking! Alright, uh, forge is a place where you can order tools. To commission, there's an M missing in the commission, a tool you must have its schematic unlocked in your encyclopedia. Open the encyclopedia entry of the tool you want to craft and drag its schematic onto the right slot in the forge to display the required components about the rest of the slots. Lastly, provide all necessary components and start construction. You can choose the outcome of a machine by using a schematic. Open the encyclopedia of the entry of the item you wish to craft and click on the schematic, then drag it onto the appropriate slot in the machine. Okay, so we want to make a sprayer, but I think I need to ask them about it. Is it a tool? Oh yeah, there we go. Sprayer. On the right side, they said? Or, uh, 
Are we sure? <laughs> hmm. Okay, Ray gave me a recipe for a sprayer. They said it's your design. How can I order it from you? It sure is. First, open your encyclopedia on the sprayer page and drag the recipe into the forge. Into the forge. Into the forge? Oh, there. Uh, what do I need? I can't, I can't see. Do I not know what this is? Am I too close? What is this? Uh, is that, is that yarn? It's not. I don't know what that is. Uh, well this is... Oh, okay. It just, you just hover over there. Okay, so. Planks, leather cap, leather cap, fungal skilk. Okay, so I have one plank in my inventory. Well, I have several. Um, but I need to get fungal silk and two of those leather caps. I am starting to get low on energy though and he did say he would be sick so I don't want to collapse out there. So I'm going to rest a little bit first. Uh, I don't know where the bedroom is. It's not this way. Is it over here? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go to sleep. Those are cute blankets. Alchemist is sleeping. The game is saving right now. Good morning. Are we all rested? It looks like it. Okay, so it's day two. I have no idea if the timer is something I need to be worried about, but we are fresh out of, fresh, full of energy, <laughs> not out of energy. Um, and it doesn't look like sprinting uses additional stamina or energy, so that's good. The valley is full of small pools like this one. There's an underground river below. That's how the water gets here without any stream. Uh, what are you guys? Witch rooms. I need the other caps. Ooh, unknown resource. Is it the silk maybe? Yeah, silk shroom. Okay, so I assume we harvest with this because that's all I have. Okay, we'll pick up all of those. And then get rid of that. I used to take this road to climb the mountaintop when I still had my leg. There was a lot of granite there from what I recall. What is the tragic backstory of your leg? This is the same rock I found in the observatory. The constructors must have used verdant vine vein stone from the Alps as the construction material. I keep wanting to say vine stone, but it's a vein stone. All right, leather cap mushroom. Choppy chop. Okay, pick that up. I think that's everything I need. I think so. Let's skadoodle back. Oh, deep water. Cannot cross. Okay, uh, tab, we got the silk, and we've got two hats. Uh, can I start the construction? Run machine. <laughs> There's a little mushroom guy there. Uh, I wish there, a way, there was a way that you could just sort this so that everything that's similar to each other would just go next to each other. Some random silk. <laughs> okay. Um... Construct a fusion machine. Can I take this? The sprayer lets you influence the world around you with your essences. You can use it to destroy blockers, harvest resources, and tend to your crops. To use it, drag an essence into the slot on the sprayer and equip it. Then approach the item you want to spray with the essence, face it, and click left mouse button to spray. The dots above the sprayer represent how many charges it has left. The dots. Oh, okay, like on the cap. 
the lid. Okay. Pick it up. Okay. <laughs> the little dance. Okay. Yeah, good job. You did a great job. Uh, so we need to construct a fusion machine. Fusion machine is a construction. Planks, two planks, two yarns. Okay, two planks and two yarns. Is that is that good? You're gonna be okay with that? Okay. <laughs> two planks, two yarns. Do I have that? Yes, I do. Two planks, two yarns. And start construction. I did not even check how many of the insights that I have, but it seems good. So we're constructing. We're gonna explore a little. Yep. Oh. Are those mushrooms? Got a little bridge going on. Oh, suddenly very green. Time change. Oh, it's noon now. That's why. Unknown resource. Celestone. Harvest method. Revolting. Fusion machine should be done by now. I should check by it. Okay. Huh. Revolting. That's a funny, funny terminology. Sprint. Okay. You can't jump. No jumping. Sprint. All right. A uh, fusion machine allows you to combine two essences into one. Each shape can only be connected to other shapes through the connectors on its tiles. Tiles of connector shapes cannot overlap. Shapes cannot be rotated. Without a recipe, the shapes will connect randomly, choosing from available connectors. Time to fuse the acidic essence. I know this one by heart. No need to even check. I will need essences from a leather cap and tangled vine withes. So I need, I think I have enough. If I only need one of each. Which I think I do. So. Oh. Hmm. How do I. Do I need to make an essence machine first? Fuse essences extracted from leather cap. Okay, so I need to extract them. Do I have. Is that essences thing inside still existing or did I blow that up, blow that up by accident? That was, I feel like that's unclear. I know I blew something up. Uh, but what was it? Is it down there? Unknown resource. Ember rock, revolting. Okay, um, I can't really see into that next room. So do I need to make an essences machine again also? Okay, I mean, I'll do it. I didn't want to re waste resources if I already, already made it, but I think I blew it up. <laughs> so let's check. Uh, grinder? Is that what I need? Uh, I think so. Just putting everything right here. Um, this needs a whole bunch of wood shroom stock, which I have. Those are slim branches. Okay, I have two of them, so then I need to get two more. Two more. I think those are some right over there. Which room stock? Okay, those are two. That's all I needed. Sprint. It's starting to rain here. I don't know if you can hear like the gutter sounds as the water rushes through. But that's what that is, if you were wondering. And potentially also my computer fan being really angry. <laughs> Which room stock? Put in, please. Construction. Okay. Do 
don't have very much essence. I need to explore. Sprint. These are not rocks I can harvest. What about these? Oh, no, that's just a normal tree. Stone fangs get its name from the jagged rock formations that resemble teeth, a stark reminder of nature's wild and untamed power. Okay. This rock has been here since I remember. I never saw what's behind it. Breaking it requires some advanced alchemy. Yeah, it's the ember rock. Is it done constructing? I don't hear it constructing anymore. Are these just leather caps? Leather caps, yeah. <laughs> There's thunder as well. Oh, other point. I can't believe I used to climb these mountains almost every day. It's like it was a lifetime ago. Okay, we're very strong. I wonder if their illness is the reason why they lost their leg or if there was some other accident or dramatic story. Oop, ran into the sign. Okay. You're done now, right? Okay. So, uh... They said this. Hold the charge. And... What was the other thing? Tangled vine withes? Can't use it right now, the machine is going. Patiently waiting. <laughs> the barium. What was that made out of? Ghost shroom cap, okay. I wish I could bring my pillow with me. Oh, maybe I can make it. Okay, well, too late. We're done. Uh, so, open tab. Take the essence. Um, and then I need to put this in. Oop. And then hold E to charge. And then let me look at my uh, constructions. Can I make a little little pillow? Doesn't look like it. Yep. They uh, let me sit on a cushion in the tutorial and then said, no more cushions. <laughs> no more cushions for you. Oh, okay. Oh, it has a- it tells you the timer above it. I didn't realize it was like one minute remaining. I didn't notice. Okay. We got two of these. So we're gonna put one of these and then one of those. And then we're gonna charge. Okay, so this says 30 minutes left. It will be quite late during the day when I'm done. But I'm just gonna wait. Oh, M is map. Okay, here we are. One way path, bridge gate, tower shrine. Hmm. Lower guard tower, lower gate, mountain top, higher gate, stone fangs. I'm just one step away from the telescope. Let's put this boulder to the test and see if we can handle our acid. So we're gonna grab this acid and we'll go back inside. Oop. Yeah, I, am a, I really do wonder if this would be easier with a controller, but maybe not if I constantly have to use uh, right click to move the camera. How do I use this? <laughs> oh, on the bar maybe? Um, nope, I put it on the ground. 
Eh, what did it say? Acidic? Oh, I have to put it in the sprayer. How do I put stuff in the sprayer again? I know it told me. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> okay, cool. We did it! Oh, gigantic. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool model. Okay. My master's research. He left everything here in his journal. He was planning to upgrade the telescope and use it to research the cure. This is where I'll start too. I'll finish the microscope and continue his research, hopefully to the end. Deeper analysis completed. Talk to Hapalo about the required of repairs. Ooh, there's a uh, stuff here on the sides. Cool imagery. I don't know what these are. Cause I don't think there's a lobster. Unless this is cancer. But cancer is usually a crab, right? If, if these are the Western Zodiac. Well, that might be Scorpio. Uh, is that a horse? Is that a Sagittarius? I don't know. It might be. It might be the uh, Western Zodiac. I'm not sure. Alright. It's late in the day. We'll see if Apollo is awake. Oh, it's nighttime now. Oh, is it snowing outside? Or is it just like fireflies or something? So, about turning telescope into a microscope, what parts do we need? Oh, this is easy. First, you need two stone blocks and two pieces of paper. And to make them, you need a workshop. That's where you work on raw materials. It's all going together nicely, huh? Sure is. So I'm going to construct a workshop. Thanks, Apollo. Okay, so workshop. It's here. I'm just gonna randomly plop it. This is the machine corner, I guess. There. Whole bunch of tangled widths and a wood trim stock. So I have one of these. Um, it's quite, quite late. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this. I feel like warned about overexerting myself. But I feel like it was just for story purposes. So hopefully I don't just pass out from hubris. Uh, we need to go somewhere else for the wives. Hmm, this does not seem like the correct way. I have not been here before. Unknown resource. Green vine. Well, we don't need that. What on earth? I've seen trumpet mushrooms around here, but never this big. Where did this abomination even come from? It's blocking my way to the village, but maybe that's not a bad thing. So, men so much memory sealed away. Titan trumpet. Okay, yeah, this is the incorrect direction. But since I'm here, I'll gather insight. I remember when cows were still pasturing in these meadows. It seems to be back then, everything was simpler. Are these the leather caps? Yeah, they are. So, oh, oh, I fell down. <laughs> okay, so I guess like I I didn't see my energy before I fell down, but I think it was like 40 or something. So well, time to for sleep. <laughs> I passed out and someone dragged me back in. Okay. Well, I'm sorry for making you pass out. <laughs> we uh Need to go chop some purple wides. Sprint. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, that seems purple. Over there, maybe. Up there. What are these? Can't pick them up. 
Oh, I think those are just like the stalks of tangled vines I've already cut. Alright. Cool. I think we only needed two more, but let's chop one more. Two more. Just in case. Alright, cool. Oh, the sun's rising. It's kind of nice. Alright, oops, I ran past the forge. <laughs> nope, I don't want that. Workshop, rather. Workshop first, then forge. Okay. So, uh, two more of those, and then, oops, one of the wood shrooms. And we'll construct. Wow, we are eating up a lot of construction points. We'll, uh, Put our essences here at the bottom. And I'll do that. 21 more minutes. Construct a workshop. Oh, just waiting. Wishing I had a pillow I could rest on. Oh, maybe I passed out because the end of the day happened. I, I know I was getting close to like midnight. I wonder if it wasn't that was a, why I passed out and not because of lack of energy. Okay, so workshop. We need to make paper. I remember that. Workshop is where you can craft your parts. Similar to tools, parts are crafted by dragging the right schematic onto the right slot and providing all the necessary components. Time to craft the parts, but how exactly? I better check my encyclopedia. All right. So I remember they said paper. Uh, what do they need? Flax stem? We're near the lower gate. Okay, so lower gate is... Wow, that's pretty far. All right, well, let's get going. Do I have room? Yeah, I have plenty of room. Oh, there's like a little inside area over here. Let's pick it up. As empty as when the Sinubus live here. Original inhabitants use this garden to grow crops, but Sinubus brought most of the ingredients. I could use it if I wanted. Construct something here. Maybe some machines. It's a lot of free space after all. Well, too bad. I crammed them all in somewhere else where stuff had already started getting built. <laughs> okay. So I gotta go to the lower gate, which is kind of far. Uh, oh. Do I have to go past here? Now that I have the spray? Is that, is that the path? It does seem like I'm on the right path. Alright. Let's just walk through some acid clouds. Totally safe. Nothing to be worried about. Observatory was made by a king so enticed with alchemy that he had a castle built to protect it. This road is how they got supplies. I can't climb up there, but maybe I could climb down? This might be a useful shortcut once I found how to get up there. Is this materials? Oh, yeah, it is. Check it out. Stone cluster. I need an essence with a weathering property for this. Luckily, it's easy to make. I just don't have to mind the shape, just the number of tiles. This would be easier if I had the microscope. I could check two essences and what they could create when fused. Almost there. Okay. You're not you're not happy with your magnifying glass anymore. <laughs> oh, that seems like a new resource. Oh no, that's a tree. Oh nope. This thing, please. Raspberry bramble. Okay. Mm, there's a thing over there. I can see my village from here, my old home. I wonder how long it has been since a human has been there. Oh. There are monsters over there. Oh. Oh. Computer angry again. Are you flax? Oh. You're gonna let me look at it? 
Is it mad because the fence is there? It is flax. Okay. We need a bunch. Oh, I missed. Okay, you can do a two for one special. Okay, um, I feel like there should be plenty of flax. And then let's run all the way back. Now that we've done our adventure in. There's a little insight here. I'm curious what the symbol means exactly. Family, home, roots, giant mushroom. <laughs> There's more of those beans. Can I go across this water? Nope. Okay, yeah, I did pick up some vein stone, it looks like, when I blew up that rock. Okay, we are here. We are making paper. Solvent. Hope I don't want that out. And then I don't know how to make solvent. Alchemy, solvent, solvent dissolves and breaks down fibers in plant matter. Um, flax. Okay, so I need four red and five jade. Four red and five jade. Uh oh. I need to I need to pin this. Four red diamonds. Five jade axis. Four uh so sanguinid and Three, four, five, smir smirgadine. Fungal silk and granite. Okay, maybe can I? One, two, three, four, fifteen. Is there anything I can, anything else I can do that with? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so what did we say? Fungal silk. Do I have any? Oh, I have one. Fungal silk, we'll extract that. Um, the other thing I need is... Oh, everything is so out of order. Oh. Sanguinid. Two, one, two, three, four. This is not sanguinid, right? It's okay, it's just Laverne. Okay. Sanguinid is granite. How do I. Oh. Did I cancel this or is it done? I think I canceled it. Oh, it's making two sanguinid. I need granite, right? To make solvent. Sanguinid. Yeah, okay, that was not what I needed. I need granite. Because smeragadine smir needs it. Okay, so granite. Uh, raw materials. I don't think I've seen granite. Oh, I have. Oh, from the stone clusters. How do I, how do I extract it from a stone cluster? Buy the ring. Oh my god, I have so much I have to make. Uh, four of that. Do I have four of, of that? One, two, three, four. Wait, I have five. Wait, that's not the right color. Never mind. Uh, okay, so we'll take that. So, 
one of those goes there. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, so much backtracking that I have to do. So I need a weathering thing. Uh, alchemy, I'm already in alchemy. Properties, weathering. I need to pin weathering, please. Oh, I need four of those. So let's look at, oh shoot. Alchemy, essences. I need four of those. So Ment Mentian works. Prudent concentrate. Okay, I can use the veined rock. Let's just do that. I don't even want to look up what the other thing is. If this works, I'm just going to use it. Ugh. I am very low on energy. I should sleep. But I want to get this done first. <laughs> or at least get the process started so then it'll be ready after I wake up. In before I just pass out again. And why did I need this? I needed to make a weathering solvent so I could get granite. So then I can make paper. Okay. Uh, so we got this. Oh, that only made one. All right. And charge it up. 38 minutes, let's go sleep. <laughs> I don't wanna pass out again. I'm sure that's very embarrassing. <laughs> like a mushroom has to drag me home. We are asleep by supper. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. Do I wake up at around the same time every day or is it like based off of how much energy I've left? It says 8, 8 a.m. So that seems like a normal time to wake up. Okay, so please tell me you made a brace. Ah, it is weathering. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, I would be very sad if that didn't work. Uh, okay, so I need to put that on. Do I have to just use it a third time before I can like put something new in? So I just like randomly spray it on something, it should work. I don't remember where I saw granite. I might have to look. Okay, so let's use the spray. I mean, we might as well. Insert an essence, we'll put that in. Um, okay, so resources, I want to find stone cluster vicinity of the higher gate okay where am i um at the higher gate okay so let's find our granite <laughs> is this granite stone it is stone cluster okay and we'll do another one Let's just use all three. Okay. Oh, please let me collect those. Oh, I have to put it in my bag? Okay. I mean, that's nice. At least those don't get trapped forever. Because <laughs> they're in a weird spot. Did I miss any? Oh, nope, that was a stone cluster. Any other parts? I don't think so. I felt like there was like one more part because I destroyed like two stone clusters for the price of one, but it's fine. Hopefully there should be enough. Okay, so why did I need granite? I needed granite because I needed the jade chain that it would create, is that right? Uh, let's see. Um. 
I don't need weathering anymore. Solvent, because it need, it makes a five. Is that why? A five chain. Uh, alchemy. Two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Extracted from granite. So I need to grind this. Oh, and it gives me two of those. Okay. I have so many random materials. I should probably put some of these down. I don't think I've needed the slim branch at all so far. So let's uh, let's put that away. Oh, let me out. Let me down. Okay. <laughs> there were shelves in there, so let's go pop those in there. I don't remember what else I needed for the microscope besides paper. It's kind of going one at a time here. All right, let's get rid of these uh, slim branches. And then, I don't know if I need all this flax, so I'm gonna put that in here too. <laughs> that is just the flax shelf. <laughs> the only thing that is there for is for flax. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's check what else the microscope needs. Oh, is it like in my thing? Microscope. Stone blocks. Oh, we need a lot of stone blocks. Okay. Stone blocks are from granite in the workshop. Okay. Granite in the workshop. I could have been multitasking. Oh, but I have like other stuff in there already for paper. So maybe I can't multitask unless I take those out. But that's okay. My thing is done. So I need one of these. And then... Uh, sanguinide. I mean, I can try and take this stuff out. Will it let me? Oh. Okay, yeah. I guess I could have been doing the stone block. Oh, stone blocks. Put that there. And then. Put it there, please. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I need to put this away? This other schematic? No, I need stone blocks in there. Is it not swapping it out? Oh, jeez. Okay, well... <laughs> I just have it in my hand now, I guess. How do I put this away? I need to put it down. <laughs> uh, how do I get rid of this? Unstuck. Okay, nope, it's still in my hand. <laughs> how do I replace a, 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 a schematic? Oh my god, now I have another schematic in my hand. I don't know where it went, but I'm not going to bother with it. Okay, cool. Uh, we got this thing. Uh, I hope we needed that. Okay, it's stone block stuff. <laughs> Is that all we need? Uh, are you going to let me start that? Oh, mushroom friends. This is manual labor. They are picking up power tools. <laughs> okay. Well, that was inefficient. But I have this thing now, which is hopefully what I need for paper. Paper, paper, paper. You know, flax makes paper. Uh, is it a part? Yeah, paper. Solvent. Is that a solvent that I made? Solvent and three flax. Hey, we're done. Yeah, thanks. Uh, how do I, how do I grab it? Let me, let me grab. Let me grab it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, there you go. Thank you for your hard work. Okay, um... I guess I can just dump the <laughs> schematic on the ground if that works. Uh, parts. Paper. Schematic. Plop it on. There you go. Nope. Plop it on. Uh, and then... Three flax. And then one solvent. Oh. How do I put it in? Hello? Solvent. How do I put the solvent in? <gasps> Is this the wrong shape? No. <laughs> Pain. Oh, it took so much to make this. I needed the red thing to be flipped. Okay, they did warn me. They did say you can't flip elements. Oh, that's painful. Um. Okay, so I need something. I need, I need connect side. Next side is made from the leather cap. Okay, so I need that, and then I need to make another. Uh, Smargadine. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Smargadine is painful to make. Actually, it's not that bad. It's just granite. It just took a while to get granite in the first place. Okay, so let me get some more granite started. My last granite. Uh, hold a charge. And then I need to grab leather caps. That I can do. Hello, leather cappy cappies. Oh, there you are. So let me sneak up on these mushrooms. They won't know what hit them. It was a sickle. It was me with the sickle. Sprinting back. And we're waiting for the grinder to be done. It's almost done. Okay, we have more of this. We're gonna put some leather caps in. Okay, now that's gonna be the right shape, I think. Hopefully. Smart. Is that even the right shape? Now I'm like doubting myself. I have so many chemicals in my pocket. <laughs> I guess I have a lot of smarg smargdean. I might not have needed to use my last granite there. Wait, can I use? Can I use connected? Am I making more connected? I already had connected. I could have just made it here. Okay, well, let's put it in. <laughs> I made more for no reason. It's okay. Hopefully. Uh, it is getting. Dusky. But I should be able to finish this today. Hopefully. Oh, yay! I got text saying I could craft paper with it. Yay! Please put it in. Please put it in. Please, I can't reach. I have it in my hand, right? <laughs> I 
You said I could craft it. You said I could craft paper with this. Is it like the angle? Doesn't like the angle that I shoved everything in this corner. Oh my god, run the machine. Run it. Go little mushroom friends, make that paper. I'm just gonna sit here and stare at them. <laughs> Even if it makes takes them longer to build things. Because the supervisor's watching. <laughs> Yay! Paper! Thank you, little friends. Alright. Uh, I don't know if I have enough. If I need, like, two things of paper, I'm gonna be sad. Is, is it at the forge? Did I need a... Or is it like back at the telescope? Hmm, how about if. Hmm, no, that's mean. And I think he really likes that leg. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so I guess it's in there. It is late though. I don't want to pass out again. I also want to finish this. Oh no, I think I need multiples of. Oh, I need two stone blocks and two paper. I only made one of each. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to go into tomorrow anyway. So let's go to bed. How do I get to bed? There it is. Sleep before I pass out. Oh no, we're gonna have to make the weathering solvent again because I used up my granite to make that other thing that I already had. Oh boy. We are really doing this in the least efficient way possible. Okay, I do need more flax though, because apparently I need two things of paper. So let's grab three of these. Um, and then I didn't make that other thing again. So the mushroom essence, and then there's like something else. Don't remember. So we'll put three of these in. One, two, three. And then. What was I making? Connected plus smaragdine. Okay. Get that started. Is it working? Are you mad? Is it because I stopped midway through? Okay, sure. Oh, I need to make the weathering solvent again. So how do I do that? It's not weathering solvent, it's just called weathering. Uh, weathering. Stone cluster, yep. Four essences. So it's four each in the fusion. Four green. Does it have to be in that shape or? I don't think so. Hopefully. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. One, two, three, four. That's five. Oh, I need to make a four with the green. Okay, uh, what makes, what is four in the green, in the jade? Mentine is? Mentine is from flax stem, so I need to grab a flax stem. And extract it. And then I need to go get another flax gem so I can use it for paper. Oh, 
I used up all I I'm gonna use up all this flax stem after all, huh? All this extra flax stem I thought I had. <laughs> All right, scooch it on back. So, black stem. And why did I do this? I need a weather rocks, that's why. Wait, do I need to? Okay, this, can I put this in now? Start this machine. Hello, put this in an awful spot. <laughs> Run the machine. Okay, uh... Why did I make this? Mentine. Connects it in Mentine, so I can make a weathering thing, is that why? I don't really understand why I need to hold to start a machine when I, like, just start a machine by pressing it for the other ones. Um, and then I need to find more stone deposits. Thank you for finishing. You're wonderful. I made paper. <laughs> this guy just like did a little spin around the pole. That's funny. Uh, construction. No, it was parts. Stone blocks. So we're just gonna dump that on the ground and put that on there and then uh oops i have this that's for weathering right i didn't even check that better be for weathering <laughs> so we're going to sprint and sprint and sprint until we find a granite deposit Wow, the respawns on this could be kind of brutal if you really screw up stuff. Oh boy. Oh wait, I have to use it. I was like, shoot, did I make the wrong <laughs> thing? Alright, uh, we'll pick that up. We'll pick that up. Uh, I think I only needed... To okay, there's, there's more here. I was like, I'm pretty sure I only needed two, but I'm also not sure. Did I get both of them? Insert an essence. Okay, yeah, fine, fine. We're out. I'm fine with that. Stone cluster will regrow in seven days. Yeah, if you uh, if you screw up a lot of your combos like I did, I feel like it could be kind of brutal to have to wait for them to respawn. Is this a special tree or just like a tree? It's just a tree. to wait seven days for something to regrow. Okay, uh, Z, nope, <laughs> wrong one, tab. Put the blocks in and we'll run the machine. Thank you, my little friends, you're incredible. And I will just sit here and wait. Man, if this demo goes longer than the microscope, I'm gonna be so tired. <laughs> um, I've already determined that this isn't quite the game for me. Um, unfortunately for me, uh, like having to check all of these things, like it is an interesting game, but for me, and I can't really explain why, but it, it, it kind of goes into the realm of like tedium. So it's like not actually that enjoyable for me, unfortunately. I just switched the box for no reason. Um, it could be fun in theory, and which is why I uh, did the demo. Not enough insight. 4,500? Okay, well now I have to go scampering for insight. Uh, so insight I can gain from selling things and also 
the insight points. Uh, so let's just sell everything in our inventory. 4,500, that's so much. I'm gonna pick the stuff that's easy to pick off the ground first, and then I'll pick the stuff that, like, I can't just use a sickle to use. Um, am I gonna regret selling planks? Maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> just go harvest some stuff because I don't want to have to remake the chemicals and this, I don't know how to even make like the thread and the planks so I feel like they're kind of rare. We're moonwalking, we're moonwalking. Okay. Honestly, you could probably like just sell some of the bush stuff too. We haven't needed any of that. Okay, let's put that away. Yeah, I just noticed that like these are attachments on his staff. <laughs> uh, that's quite handy. It's a fun design. Okay. Here, take more of my trash, please, that I found outside. Oh, I still need 500 more. Okay, well, let's, let's go find that 500 more. Uh, these are things that I could chop. Cool, I just did like a, like a three for one chop, very efficient. Um, is there anything else over here? There's bushes. What are these? Oh, just more bushes. Maybe like those like raspberries. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. I was like, maybe those raspberries would fetch me a high price. Okay. Surely that's enough, right? Like, definitely, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll chop some more bushes on my way back just in case it's not... <laughs> All right. I can't climb. I gotta go f around. Okay. Hello. I have more trash to provide you. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Oh, I didn't sell these uh, mushroom caps yet. I could do that. Oh yeah, they're only 50. Mm. Okay, I need like 200 more. I do not want to pass out. That would be bad. Chop these over there. <laughs> Can I grab these? Uh oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Maybe I should get those raspberries. I don't know, the raspberries seem like really fun, right? Like, <laughs> very unique. <laughs> I'm like, have you, have you heard of this extremely cool and rare resource called Slim Twigs from Bushes? Let me sell these amazing inventions to you. <laughs> Alright, we're getting very tired. I do continue to suspect that I passed out the first time because it was late in terms of time and not because of my energy. Because I'm at 28 and I'm pretty sure I was at like 40 or something the first time I passed out. Oh, we're at 4,500! Okay, let me just finish selling all these branches because I just don't want them in my inventory. Alright. Cool. Let's see if I can make the microscope. <laughs> Hello? There. Cool! Let's go to bed! 
I guess from like a gameplay perspective, I understand why they make you they lock things behind essences because they like want to want you to play a certain amount of time before you progress. But it also seems like a little silly. Like why do I need to sell a bunch of like trash <laughs> to the mushroom people in order to construct a microscope? Okay. This device will allow me to see all the possible combinations of any two essences. Well, at least it should. Let's test it. Ooh, a microscope lets you research all possible combinations of any two essences. These combinations will appear in your encyclopedia as recipes that you can drag onto the fusion machine while performing a fusion to lock a desired outcome and avoid a random fusion result. To perform research, insert a pair of essences into the slots on the microscope, then press E. Remember that research costs insight and energy and won't be able to perform it if you lack any of those. So if is a typo there. Wow, it costs insight too? Ugh. Putting a recipe into the fusion machine recipe slot will lock it into outputting a specific shape. It still requires the same essences. You can obtain recipes by scanning both elements in the microscope. Research any two essences together. Can I not take the microscope? One hour. Is it like, do I just like put stuff on there? I like can't take the microscope with me. Okay. Um, we'll do this. Are these eyeballs? <laughs> oh, it's essences only? Okay, yeah, not raw materials. Yeah, let's put, let's do these two crazy things together. Why not? Research, research. Start research. Oh. The last alchemist! Thank you for playing our demo! In the full game, you'll uncover new ways of studying and transforming essences, solve dozens of puzzles, meet and befriend various characters, and explore wonderful locations. Continue your alchemical research to ultimately discover the secret of the mysterious plague haunting the region. See you in the full release. Wishlist on Steam. Okay, let's do final thoughts. Uh, we can start with the positives. Um, I do think for probably other people in the world, not me. This could be a really fun game. Um, I know there's been kind of more and more uh, games that are related to like potion making and like alchemy and stuff like that. So this is another one there that you can add into that genre if maybe the other ones don't quite appeal to you. Um, I do think like potion making and that kind of thing is kind of fun, but unfortunately for me at least it reminds me of chemistry class. Um, which I didn't enjoy. <laughs> I was just never very good at science, but like it reminds me of like the molecules and like the electrons and protons and stuff and like the, oh my God, I remember we had like tests in chemistry about like the shapes of elements and like where they can fuse and like the bonds that they can have and like that. I like don't remember how to do that. Um, and like thinking about it makes me feel stressed out, so. <laughs> For me, at least, this type of gameplay is not something that I personally would like to pursue. But like, obviously, there are people who pursue chemistry degrees and are chemists and like probably enjoy that kind of thing, which like makes sense. Like, this game is literally called Alchemist. Like, the word chemist is in Alchemist. Uh, so I think it's a fun, unique concept. Um, but again, yeah, not really for me. Um, what else is interesting? I think the music. Uh, was quite themed. That seemed good. Um, in terms of things to improve, I did notice quite a few like punctuation, capitalization, um, errors, like particularly comma splices where there's like commas where maybe it should be a semicolon or just a new sentence or a hyphen, um, as well as like places where like the start of a bullet was not capitalized or like it didn't have a period at the end, even though all the other bullets had periods at the end. Um, I would also say for me, there was just like a lot of reading of instructions. Like, <laughs> I'm sure you heard me like sigh <laughs> when there was like more to read and like, I don't know, there's just like so much text that it was kind of hard for 
me to like comprehend everything that was happening. Um, the controls are a little bit odd, so I, I don't really understand why you need to hold down to, do, to operate certain machines, but other ones you just tap the interact button, the E. It like seems a little weird to me. Uh, what else? Um, I like the task list, task list uh, in the top right corner of the screen, but I also don't know if it helped me very much just because there were like so many steps that you had to do to like even get to your final result. So like the final goal was like, do this thing. I mean, I guess that's why they allow you to pin recipes and things like that in your encyclopedia, just because of so much like one more up the chain that you have to go. Cause like, remember when I, wanted to make paper and then like I needed to make solvent but in, in order to make solvent I needed a chemical from granite and in order to get granite I needed to get the weathering thing and in order to get weathering there was like something else I had to do instead so again this might be an enjoyable puzzle solving thing of like holding things in your memory and like making sure you're going back and following the steps that could be something that people enjoy personally that was not something I enjoyed um and then, what else? Yeah, something about the overall controls, just the overall movement controls, not even just like pressing to hold uh, to operate a construction or just tapping it. Something about it was weird. Like when I see this type of game, um, to me, I feel like it's a great candidate to use on controller because like using WASD when you're trying to walk through like a 3D world in third person to me is just it's weird. Uh, and like, I don't know, it's just like odd because like I feel like I would expect just like the way the, like where I move my mouse to kind of direct where my camera is instead of like having to do the extra effort of like turning the camera with the right mouse button every time I want to like turn a corner it was just it was a little frustrating but like I can also imagine it potentially being frustrating of like the character always following where your mouse is like I don't know when you're like trying to place stuff in the con contraption machine maybe that is like a horrible experience I don't know um and I, I did not try using the controller so I don't know if it's controller compatible but just like these types of games where you're kind of more free roaming in a 3d world it, it just suits very well to controller like I use controller for overcooked for played up for um other like first person first person games um as well I don't use it for overwatch but <laughs> That's a that's a first person shooter, but yeah, like third person, I think it works really well with controller. So if there isn't a controller compatibility, that would be something to to definitely check out. Um, yeah, I think those are my overall thoughts. Um, but yeah, maybe this is a game for you. It's not a game for me, and I'm glad I got to play the demo to figure that out for myself. Uh, but yeah, if it is something that you're interested in, it is available on Steam to wishlist, and the uh, game is set to release sometime soon, at a coming soon date, no, on TVD at the moment, so uh, to keep an eye on that, make sure you check it out on Steam. But this has been Sam Willis playing the demo of The Last Alchemist. I hope you enjoyed and they had a good day. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Goodbye!